Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys another IBA video, this time for week 5 against the commissioner, one of my best friends, Odds aka Brody. Now last week we came off of a dub against Zombie, another really good friend of mine and his Portland Poplios. And that is going to lead into my question of the day today, which is going to be what mon did you learn to love? Obviously, if you guys have not heard who I am before, I'm John Jr., obviously, but I did not like Mega Mawile before this season. I thought Mega Mawile was the most overrated Pokemon in Draft League format, but through using it and just having a lot of fun with it, I have learned to love Mega Mawile a lot. So I want to know, have you guys had any stories like that? And if you have, share them with me. I'm actually really, really interested in any of these stories. Moving on, today we are facing Brody, and his team is very, very scary. He has Tornadus, Superior, Vaporeon, Heracross, Bronzon, Sharna, Megalteria, Mamoswine, and Intei, and uh, Jolteon for Alligator. His Z are going to be Tornadus and Intei. But looking at the matchup, I'm not quite as confident in this one as I have been in the other ones. Um, but there is one clear thing that you notice when you look at Brody's team. His defoggers are very far and few between. He has Superior, which doesn't really count because it really needs its move slots to have Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, and then a Hidden Power, and then probably Leech Seed, Glare, Synthesis, or Sub. He doesn't really have room for anything else. So his two real defoggers are going to be Tornadus and Megalotaria, and I don't really see him bringing defog and Megalotaria in this game. I do think that it needs four move slots. Probably like a DD Earthquake set is what I'm thinking of, with Roost as the last move, Stab, Roost, or Fairy Stab, Roost, excuse me, with DD. But Tornadus, I can definitely see defog on but if he does not happen to bring defog against us the theme of our team that we are going to be bringing is going to be hazard stacking and the whole point of the team is going to be to hazard stack him into oblivion we are bringing big hefty the garbota we got toxic spikes we've got rustwing the skarmory with spikes and we got mawile with stealth rock actually this week but moving into what i think he's going to be bringing First and foremost, I think he is going to be bringing Mamoswine. Mamoswine just matches up so nicely against us and we really have to play around it. The only mod that we really have to stop it is going to be the Skarmory. So if he can play around that, Mamoswine absolutely rips us a new one. However, he cannot be Scarf and Mamoswine's speed tier is very, very bad in this game. So I'm interested to see what item he brings because we have a lot of flying mods and we have a lot of mods that don't care about ice moves. But if he can switch between the two moves, we're in a rough spot. The next mod that I guarantee think he brings is Tornadus. I think that if you have Tornadus, you're bringing it 10 out of 11 games, much like Landers from NCP. I just think Tornadus has a really nice niche in this game. You could probably do like U-Turn, Z-Hurricane, Heat Wave, something like that with Taunt, something like that just does really, really well against us. Like I said before, Mega Altaria is very annoying for us, specifically a Dragon Dance set. If you bring it to any other set, it's not as bad, but I think a Dragon Dance set is very, very difficult for us to deal with. The last three Pokemon I think can be any of the other Pokemon. I think Intake can just absolutely destroy us if we don't bring the proper team. I think Jolteon has a good matchup. I think Bronzon can be brought. I think Masharna can be brought. Heracross can definitely be brought. And I think Vaporeon can be brought. I do not think Feraligator is a very smart bring because it literally doesn't ever touch um, Skarmory as much as it would like to. So if he brings Skarmory, then so be it. We're fine. I'm going to say if he brings for Alligator, I'm so sorry. Moving on to what we are bringing and why we are bringing it. Obviously, the first mod we do have here is Miss Dusa the Mawile. I have fallen in love with this Pokemon. And we are rock with Play Rough, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Stealth Rock this week. We're going to try an offensive Stealth Rocking mod, which I don't know if I've ever actually used. So that'll be really, really interesting. As far as his switchins to Mawile go, his switchin is literally Intei because uh, Bronzong does not appreciate Knock Off. We are rock with Play Rough, Knock Off because his two resists to Play Rough include the Bronzong and the Intei. Like I said so we can just knock off the bronze on and then Intei is the only problem. We have Sucker Punch for the mods that are obviously faster than us like Tornado, Superior, etc. And then we have Stealth Rock to hopefully get some rocks up on something like that if we are sent in on a Heracross, if we're sent in on the Mega Altaria, something like that, we can get rocks up because rocks are really really nice against his team. We can live a Guts close combat from the Heracross from Fool without Intimidate activating which is really really cool. Your eyes don't deceive you, I just changed the set a little bit. We can also outspeed a Max Max Speed Tornadus under Tailwind. Our next mon here is going to be Victini with Sub, Blue Flare, D Gleam, and T Ball. And this mon is kind of going to be a soft win con, I want to say. It does really, really well in the matchup overall. It's a good check to Intei, but we do have to watch out for Stone Edge and kind of play around if he is banded or not. Uh, we outspeed Max Adamant Intei because I assume he's going to want Sacred Fire. And Sub, T Ball, Blue Flare, plus a move to hit Altaria is phenomenal. And we chose D Gleam because I think that's the only move we get to hit Altaria, in all honesty. We can live an Adamant Bandit into Stone Edge, and that is the Victini set we are rocking with. The next mod here is going to be Skarmory, and Skarmory is all part of the game plan. We're rocking with Spikes, Roost, Brave Bird, and Tailwind. Tailwind for like the Mawile, the Victini, even the Lycanroc in a second. 
uh, spike specifically because this is going to be our mammal swine switch in and when we switch this in on mammal swine instead of obviously you know roosting up I want to get a layer of spikes up because his hazard removal is very very weak uh, roost for longevity and then brave bird because that hits more things than iron head does it hits like the hair across it hits the vaporeon for neutral it hits the superior it hits uh, a lot of things which we could go iron head for like the altaria and the mammal but I just feel like brave bird's going to be a little bit better overall we have enough defense for Bandit Mammo to not two-shot us. We can live a Torn Heat Wave after Rocks. And we would, like I said, we would love Iron Head, but we just do not have the move slots. Our next mod is going to be Lycan Rock, which is going to be another soft win con here. We have a Cellar Rock, Crunch, Stone Edge, Swords Dance with Lycanium Z. We hit basically every Pokemon. We just have to be a little bit careful of the Heracross. That's the only mod we cannot hit. We have enough speed to outspeed Max Adamant Intake, which is a little bit weird that his speed tiers fall that much, but we are Adamant and then the rest in HP, rock filling number of HP. If we can get a Sword Stance up, this Mon can absolutely decimate. Our next Mon here is going to be our guaranteed lead. He has one Fairy type and it is not Fairy before Mega Evolution, so we can very freely lead Hydreigon and we can click Dark Pulse or Draco. He actually doesn't really have a switch into Dark Pulse either, so we can kind of click Dark Pulse, but we are rocking Draco, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, and U-Turn Flash Cannon for the Mega Altaria as well as the Mammal Swine. We have enough speed to outspeed a Scarfed Carrier Cross. We can live a Bandit Adamant Ice Shard after two layers of rocks from the Mammal Swine because he's probably going to get rocks up because we don't have Defog on anything. We have a lot of hazards that we want to keep up. Our last mod is going to be the Lad Hefty with Sludge Wave, Toxic Spikes, Focus Blast, and Toxic could help versus the Altaria. That's the whole reason that we are bringing it. Shuka for the Mammal Swine as well as the Mega Altaria. We cannot Oko the Mammal Swine with Focus Blast, but we can get some very valuable damage off on it. We can 2 KO the ult with uh, Sludge Wave. And we went over Sludge Wave just in case he is a Cotton Guard variant. And then we don't have a better way to hit Mammal Swine, so we went with Focus Blast. But that is going to be the team that we are rocking with, guys. I'm very confident in leaving Hydreigon. I think that we can leave, or I think that we can quick u-turn if he leads mammoth swine maybe flash cannon i'm not entirely sure i'm very curious on the team that brody will bring i feel like unless he leads altaria we can kind of claim a ko turn one with hydreigon just because he doesn't really have a good switching because his steel is weak to hydreigon so very very interested but with that being said guys i gotta regen this team because i messed up the ma while and i'll see you guys in just a second with the match okay guys and we are getting connected here with brody i do want to say one thing i did mess up my ma while speed it just it's just a couple evs so it's nothing too crazy uh, I, I evaded it to outspeed the regular Tornadus in uh, Tailwind, not Tornadus Therian, so we don't outspeed that mod regardless, so I gotta keep that in mind, but hopefully we're in for a good game here with Brody, at least I think I did, let me double check that actually, uh, Pokemon Calculator, Tornadus Therian, let me look at minus two, oh yeah, there's no way, we had to put in like a significant amount more EVs. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong mod anyway, but please select participating Pokemon. Let's see what we got wrong, what we got right. Uh, he did bring Jolt. He did bring Feraligator. That's super surprising to me. I thought Feraligator had the only bad matchup on his team. So Feraligator. No Masharna, that's fine. Feraligator. What did he not bring? He, brought, he didn't bring Mamoswine, huh? Mamoswine just decimated me, bro. So no Mamoswine, and instead we see Vaporeon? Uh, Vaporeon makes sense. I just I couldn't see it is why I said it like that. So Vaporeon and no Masharna, and instead we see Intei. So okay, so Intei definitely did do good and could rip me apart if I didn't bring the right team, but I think I brought the right team to deal with that. Uh, hopefully that looks fine, and let me fix this. So Vaporeon, like, oh, no Mammoth Swine, that's so Intei. That's so surprising to me, and no Heracross, and instead he brought um, Feraligator, and no Bronzong. I just said he brought so he's already ready. So that tells me that he probably has a dedicated lead. I think that there's no reason for me not to lead Hydreigon like I was talking about. Um I think Hydreigon matches up really well against any Pokemon that he decides to lead. I'm just looking at it now. I'm trying to I'm trying to say that I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. I think like I think Hydreigon matches up really well against whatever he decides to lead. I'm really confident in that. I am very, very confident in that fact. So we are gonna try to stick to the plans to hazard stack him. He does have, if he's Quick Feed Jolteon, actually, Toxic Spikes are going to be significantly less important. He probably has Heal Bell on Vaporeon, so Toxic Spikes probably are not, should not be the utmost importance, honestly. We are going to go ahead and lead Triple Threat, and we'll see what he leads here. We should outspeed anything that is Scarfed minus Tornadus, and he does decide to lead Tornadus. So let me see how much, like, what's the worst thing this Tornadus can do to us? Hydreigon? Because I could just fire off a Draco, couldn't I? Hurricane. The worst thing he could do is Z-Hurricane, and Z-Hurricane has a chance to kill us. So I'm thinking I might just drop a Draco here and get a read on his set, or I could just U-turn. I could just U-turn. Let me 
look at the team here. Look at what we got here. I could just go into uh, Skarmory. Let me see. How much does this thing do with Skarmory? Actually, you know what? There's no way he goes in. He uh, clicks Heat Wave here. That doesn't make any sense. So I might just go into Mawile. What does Mawile allow me to do? I think I'm going to U-turn. I think I've convinced myself to U-turn. Or I could Dark Pulse. What's the switches into Dark Pulse? Non-existent. Uh, how much would a U-turn do to Hydra? I can only do like 30%. I could just drop a Draco too. I think I'm gonna Dark Pulse. We're just gonna Dark Pulse turn one. We're gonna get a read on what he does. We are faster, so he's not Scarf. He is A B. He's especially defensive, and he misses Hurricane. So Hurricane, HP invest, because I should have done significantly more. We're gonna click unless he's zero HP, then we have a chance to kill. We're gonna click, click Dark Pulse again. I've got no reason not to. He might just switch out here. Vaporeon. I gotta write this stuff down. Vaporeon, Jolteon. Uh, so we would have been fine going to Skarmory there. That's good to know. Uh, Mega Altaria. He doesn't have a switch into this and he's realizing this. So we click Dark Pulse. This is a roll to kill if he's 0 HP. Uh, he clicks Hurricane again. And that's going to do probably like 60% unless he specs. He specs. Yikes. Oh, that's a crit. Ah, that's a crit. Crit. That did about... We mm. 17. R171. He did 99%. No, we're at... Seven, hold on. 17 out of 171. We're at 1%, I think. No, that can't be right. We're at 10%. Yeah, we're at 10%, so he that's unfortunate. But he still doesn't have a switch into Dark Pulse. This The fact doesn't change that he does not have a switch into Dark Pulse. So we're just going to click Dark Pulse here. And he switches out like he should, but he still doesn't have a switch in. Jolteon, that's not a switch in. Gator. That sucks a lot, actually, because I needed this mod. But we're, we're going to get a read on this set. It takes about half. Is that EV? I don't know anything about how much damage Jolteon should take. No, that's not EV. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here. What's my best switch in? Is he Scarf? This. Would he be Scarf Jolteon? He sent that in like it was Scarf. He sent that in like it was Scarf. Very much so. What would... Victini take from a, a Volt Switch if he was not Life Orb. If he was just max HP. He sent that in like it was Scarf. Like, I really feel... Why would he bring Scarf Jolteon, though? That doesn't make any sense to me, but I need Hydreigon, don't I? I need Hydreigon, because it can just come in and click Draco, and it's so good in this game, man. So I think I just go into Victini. We take about 28-30% to from the Volt Switch, if he does go for that. If he's not Life Orb, which I'm assuming he's going to be Specs. Or, or not spec scarf the way he sent that in if he's not then he was just giving me jolteon which i don't understand and he goes bolt switch but specs why brody why were you gonna give me that mon i don't understand specs that is very very specs that doesn't make any sense that's specs and a high roll by the way unless he's modest that doesn't make any sense ah so high dragon could have just gotten a kill okay i need to take a step back and breathe because how do we win this game still? Win con. Let's see what this is. My goal. Okay. I do have the Dazzling Gleam specifically for this Pokemon. How much would a Dragon Dance? How much would an Earthquake do? Raw Earthquake do to me? If he's adamant, it would KO. But Dazzling Gleam can two shot him. If he's Jolly, it would still KO. So what's my best switch into this Pokemon? Garboder! Garboder, right? My thing fell out. Garboder, Earthquake. Two Earthquakes can't kill us. Garboder is here for this reason. And we can get a, um... I feel like he might... He doesn't have Mammoth Swine. Skarmory is infinitely less important. We're just going to go Skarmory, right? No, because... Hmm. In case he Dragon Dances... We're, we're gonna go we're gonna go Garboder in case he dragon dances because if he dragon dances and we go Skarmory We don't have whirlwind which is something that I was very concerned about with this Skarmory in the first place So if he does dragon dance here, we'll be okay uh, He might fire blast here expecting the Skarmory, so we'll see what he does here I still don't understand why he was gonna give me Jolteon. Jolteon's phenomenal in this matchup. We don't have a ground type Which is an oversight on my part. Uh, he does end up going for Earthquake. We have Shuka. That's fine So he does have EQ. That's fine He does <laughs> Zero. That's what we like to see, Brody. 148. He did 39 damage. Let me see if he's at all offensive. No. 39. He is very defensive. Defensive. 
And he didn't bring Bronzong, so his switching to this Mon includes... Uh, this Mon Sludge Wave does not exist. We could also just get a T-Spike up. We could also just get a T-Spike up. Because now this Mon gets affected by T-Spikes. I like T-Spike. I like the T-Spike option. What, what would he go into here? What would be his play? I think I'm just going to click T-Spike. He might just um, Earthquake again. But I, I'm going to get a T-Spike up. I think it's worth it at this point. He withdraws. Let's see what he goes into. Tornadus? Inte. Okay. Very confused on that. Uh, pressure. I don't know if that means anything. We're going to get T-Spike up. Let me see something. How well do we take this? Inte. Mm. Adamant. What is it? Sacred Fire? Is that what it's called? Sacred Fire. We would take this, but I like this mod to deal with all carry now that I know that he's probably not special. Uh, we can go into Victini for this. Victini. He's forcing a lot of plays here. Sacred Fire would do like 37%, and if, if he's Adamant Banded, and if he clicks Stone Edge, then that's a good play on Brody's part. If he clicks Stone Edge, we go into Lycanroc and we click Swords Dance. So we'll see what he does. I'm willing to risk my win con here, honestly. I'm willing to risk Victini, because I don't think Victini does as good as I thought it did. And he clicks Stomp and Tantrum. Okay. Does that kill? No. Stomping Tantrum. He left him on, on 14. What were we at? 97? Mm -hmm. 14. 83. Let me see how much that did to us. Let me see if he's banded. Stomping Tantrum. That did... Not as much as I expected. I don't think that's banding. Good information. Would he go for that again? I don't have a good switch in here at all. I might... He might... Ha! Ah. Let me look at his team. If I let go of Victini, what do I break? Hmm. I basically have to give him a Pokemon here. Or I make the very ballsy play and go into Hydreigon on his Stomping Tantrum. But I think he might have e speed. But he could just Sacred Fire here very freely. Because that discourages by switching to Lycanroc too. I think I'm going to go into... I don't know what the play is. Do I need Victini? Victini outspeeds everything. Except for Tornadus and Jolteon. I could just get damage off on this too. And he could have E-Speed anyway. I think I'm just going to get damage off. I think Victini is my most sackable member. If I let this Mon go, what do I go into? Lycanroc? I think I'm just going to go for T-Bolt. He might E-Speed either way. No, we go for Thunderbolt. We do nothing. He does Sacred Fire, so I'm glad I didn't switch out. Sacred Fire. Not choice. Okay. So we go into Lycanroc every time, but I really quickly want to check that damage, because that doesn't look right. No, that's... That, he might be... He might be H... He might be max HP. So how much does Lycanroc do here? Could I just blow my Lycan's Z? I could just blow my life in Z, because if he's char- he hasn't shown an item, Charity Berry. If he's Charity Berry, could Z Stone Edge kill through this? It could, it could. We're gonna go into Lycanroc. And Lycanroc's very, very important, so I think we're just gonna Lycan Z, because we- we force a KO here, guaranteed. Let me see how much we do to Vaporeon, just to be 100%. Splinter Storm starts to 70 if he's max max, into 35. Yeah, we- we claim a KO here with Lycanroc Z. I'm almost positive, and that's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. He withdrew. Let's see what we get. Intake, kill. He doesn't have Vapor. We should kill this into uh, with Stone Edge. Intake, killed. And he's toxic, too. What mod did Intake kill? Intake killed Victini with Sacred Fire. So I'm going to have to block this out. I'm going to have to remember that, but Intake gets a kill, and Victini dies. Brody's playing very odd. Very odd up point but Lycanroc is looking very very clean at this point in the match Lycanroc is looking extremely clean mm. we're gonna have to land a stone edge though you can do it Sally this might if he's not uh, defensive too this could KO or this could put him in range to where we could just click crunch if he's not max defense which the way he sent this in makes me think this is his, this answer to this if he's no defense we actually KO this mon We can click Crunch very easily on this mod now. We can click Crunch very, very easily on this mod now. 100% of the time, yes. 
But if I do that... Do I take the KO? Because he goes into for alligator. How much do we do for alligator? For alligator. How much do we do to for alligator with the stone edge? We do like half. What's my answer to for alligator now? Well, we have high dragon that outspeeds either way. So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crunch here, and we're gonna see what he does. I could sword stance predicting. Why would he protect? I'm gonna crunch. He gives us the mod. Vaporeon. No 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 no. Lycan Dusk kills Vaporeon with Crunch. Okay, we're back in the front seat, I think. But if he goes for Alligator here, we're in a little bit of a tricky situation. I think I'm forced to go into High Dragon. Uh, what mon? What mon did we kill Vaporeon? We're ve we're forced into a very tricky situation if he goes into for Alligator here. Um, dead. I don't know what his other play is though. If he goes Jolteon, we kill that with uh, a Cellar Rock. Jolteon. I would assume. I would assume. Yeah, it's looking like it. Looking like we would. Mega Altaria might be the play. Altaria. I know he's very, very defensive though, so I doubt an Earthquake would KO us actually. Not from Fool. That's if he's max adamant that it KOs us from Fool. No, even if he's max, it had, it's a roll to KO us, and we know he's not max based on the damage that he did to our Garboder. So we could two shot. Actually, we could not two shot him. He sends out Jolteon. No. We're adamant. I think we just claim this. We pick off this KO. A Cellar Rock should kill this. Always. A Cellar Rock should kill this always. Yes. Yes. Lycan Dusk kills Jolteon with a Cellar Rock. He didn't know we were um, adamant. Which he probably should have gauged based on the damage to his Vaporeon, actually. But based on that da based on that HP, we had a very slim shot of not Oko, and we did 48 mid. And now I think we're in a position to where Lycanroc is looking phenomenal, man. Like we could potentially win this game with Lycanroc here. I think if he goes, the only thing that I can see him doing here, he's got two plays. He can go Altaria and he can go into for Alligator. And if he goes for Alligator, I'm going hard into High Dragon because I do not want him to set up a Dragon Dance. That is worst case scenario. And High Dragon, let me see if High Dragon can Oko. High Dragon cannot Oko. Wincon, Altaria. This is his Wincon. This is very much his win combo, but it is poisoned. It is poisoned, which is phenomenal. So Jolteon's down. We got the Eon Twins down. And what do I switch into this mod? He's likely clicking Earthquake here. And he saw that Garboder was my answer to this last time. So he might just stay with Earthquake. I think I'm just going to send in Skarmory. How much do I do with a... I feel like he's got Fire Blast. Skarmory is very unimportant, though. I'm going to send in Skarmory here. And we're going to see what he does. I, he might Dragon Dance, man. And that would be the scariest thing if he does... Altaria, but he doesn't break Skarmory ever. He goes Ice Beam, okay? So he's mixed. Ice Beam. That did like half. So he's probably gonna have Roost. What does he expect there? High Dragon? So he's probably gonna have Roost as one of his moves. Does he have a Fairy Stab? I don't think he has Fairy Stab. I think he's gonna click a Fire move here. Ice Beam was the move of choice there. There's no way he's clicking Earthquake, right? That's my that's my mindset right now. Let me hold on. He did a ton of damage to our to our Skarmory with Ice Beam. He did about 50 to our Skarmory with Ice Beam. I'm very curious on that damage. Skarmory, Ice Beam. That might be 252 modest. Holy. Maybe that's why he did so little with Earthquake to Guard Boulder. Either way, I'm going Guard Boulder. Maybe he was trying to lure us into a full sense of security that he didn't have Fire Blast? I'm not entirely sure, but we're just going to go Hefty here. And we're going to see what he does. I don't think Earthquake makes the, is a play there. He does reveal Fire Blast, as I thought. And that puts us in range of an Earthquake. But Guard Boulder did his job this game, man. If Guard Boulder dies to an Earthquake, Guard Boulder dies to an Earthquake. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see the damage on that. On a modest earthquake without the shuka. We always die. Oh wait, no no no, that's max attack. That's max attack. We actually have a pretty solid chance to live that max attack earthquake or the modest earthquake, assuming he's modest, which it looks like he might be. We could also double out. What does doubling out 
grant us. He just KOs Skarmory. We gotta give him a Pokemon at some point. So we're just gonna go for Sludge Wave here with Hefty, and we're gonna see if he overplays. He goes Fire Blast again? Would that KO from this range? It does! Okay. So Mega Altaria kills Garboder with Fire Blast. So that's fine. So Mega Altaria picks up a KO, that's fine. This is a very good game so far on Garboder. Can... Can Hydreigon kill from this range with a Flash Cannon? Does not look like it. What is my best play here? Lycanroc does not die to an Earthquake. Hmm. Ice Beam does about half. Actually, how much is Mawile taken from a max Fire Blast? Fire Blast. We always perish to a max Fire Blast. Got it. I think my best play here is to go Sally, Lycanroc, and click Stone Edge. Unfortunately, I think that's what it has to be. Actually, no. Yeah, it has to be that. That's exactly what it has to be. Or I could go Mawai and play very, very risky as he clicks Fire Blast. I don't have to play risky. I don't have to play risky. I'm going Lycan Dusk. Hmm. Can I set up a Swords Dance and win the game? I think so. It's for Alligator. I think I set up a Swords Dance and I go for game. I think that's what I'm going to do. We don't kill him from this range regardless. I don't think so, at least. Assuming he's any amount of bulk investment. We're going to go for Swords Dance. He should- he never kills us with this unless he's max adamant, which we already know for a fact that he is not max adamant. And he goes Ice Beam. He's going for the freeze. Brody, I swear on everything, do not. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so we click Stone Edge now, and we gotta land. And we gotta believe in Lycan Dusk. That's huge! That's huge! Lycan- Lycan Dusk kills Mega Altaria with Stone Edge. That's the lad, Sally. That's the mad lad Sally. So Mega Altaria dies and Lightning Rock gets a kill. That's the mad lad Sally. And this is looking really good right now. This is looking very, very good. He has to, I think he's forced to go into Feral Gear and hope we miss a Stone Edge because we are not in range. He should have went for Earthquake and hoped to put me in range of Extreme Speed if he has Extreme Speed. He probably doesn't because he didn't click it on Victini actually. Maybe I'm wrong. I think Lycanroc, as long as we, as long as we hit this Stone Edge, man, I think Lycanroc cleans up. Assuming, let me see how much we do to Inte. Inte. With an Acceleroc. Let me see if we have to risk the Stone Edge. Plus two. Uh, it's close. If he's max HP. No, if he's max HP, we always kill him with Acceleroc, unless he's Charity Berry. For Alligator. We've got to land a Stone Edge. We've got to land a Stone Edge. I can rock for alligator. We've got to land a stone edge. You got it, Sally. You got it, Sally. That's the lad. Oh my goodness, that's so hyped. That is so hyped. Lycan Dusk kills for Alligator with Stone Edge. I think that wraps up the game. Unless he's Charity Berry Inte, we should clean up the game with Lycan Rock. He sent out Inte very, very fast. We're going to click uh, our play as a Cellar Rock regardless because we can just go into High Dragon and revenge this. Um, let me see what died. For Alligator died. We, we click a Cellar Rock regardless because we kill this unless he's Charity Berry, which he could be. And if he is, then phenomenal prep on Brody's part. Is he Charity? He's not. We win the game. We win the game. Lycanroc kills Inte with a Celeroc, and Lycanroc just picked up six kills, guys. That's phenomenal. Lycanroc kills, unless it gets some priority tornadoes with a Celeroc. That's phenomenal. So Lycanroc, I think I played really well around Lycanroc. I think I didn't make any plays that I didn't have to make. Uh, I think I sacked what I need to sack. I, honestly, I've been feeling very, very good about how I've been playing recently, and I think that is really shown as we are going to go ahead and kill the Tornadus there, and we are going to win the game there 4-0. GG to Brody. That was a very, very fun one and very intense in the beginning. I still don't understand that Jolteon play at all. I thought Jolteon did absolutely crazy against me. I thought he did phenomenal, but, uh, and why he didn't bring 
mammal swine baffles me. That mom was ridiculous against me. But with all that being said, guys, that is going to do it here for me. Let's go. The lad Sally pulling through. Uh, again, make sure to answer the question of the day down below, which is what Pokemon did you learn to love? I learned to love Mawile. I didn't learn to love Lycanroc. I've always loved Lycanroc, but it came through in this match. But with all that being said, guys, make sure to check Brody out down below. And for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.